What's going on guys? I'm in Advantage and welcome to Hut Dates. In this series, every single week, we're gonna be reviewing the latest Hut content so you're aware of what's available in Hut and how you can best take advantage of it so you can improve your team. Make sure you click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest news. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So taking a look here, we have our first look at the training camp cards. Mike Hoffman, of Evgeny Kuznetsov, and lastly Evgeny Malkin at 86 overall. Probably the most attractive ones in the bunch, but good to see that we have some of those cards coming out. Totally different and unique from what we had before. The primetime cards are back, Voracek and Ellers being the pretty much only ones that are worth anything at this point. And then lastly, some special packs. Again, I'd be careful buying anything right now, especially in the EA Play mode, however, it is what it is. It's nice to see some of those special packs back. Next, we have the team of the week. The card design here is pretty unique. Definitely something that uh, probably could use a change. You know, I'm happy to see that they changed it up a little bit, made things a little bit different here. Giordano, Carlson, I would say also Barkov, and maybe Ben. Probably the only cards that are worth anything other than just above and beyond, and then possibly the Frederick Anderson, 84 overall goalie at this time. But let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. First off, the Michael Bunting, 79 overall, light the lamp synergy, eh, an okay card. The biggest pull you can get out of here, as I mentioned before, is Alexander Barkov with the Thief synergy, which should be really good this year, and also the off the rush superstar ability. So that is a pretty solid card. If you can pack that one early on, Definitely would be going for some coins if you pull it in a tradable pack. Next, I did pull this Jesse Poirvi. He's okay. Applesauce is a good synergy, but overall, not a card that's screaming overpriced. <laughs> Next is Jamie Benn, 83 overall, has spark synergy. Again, a little bit different than last year, but pretty solid card. Christian Dvorak, 81 overall, heart and soul, decent card. Next is Josh Anderson. Pretty big body, well-rounded, is a pretty solid synergy, but he's a little slow for my liking. Next up is Jansen Harkins, 80 overall, workhorse synergy, okay card. Next we have Mikhail Backlund, 82 overall, Thief synergy again, pretty good this year. And then Alex Fortman, 87 speed, pretty quick if you can get your hands on him, not bad for an 80 overall card. Richard Gagne, I believe, fly the zone. Again, 78 overall, these next couple guys here really aren't any cards to shake a stick at. It's really nothing that uh, I would be too excited about if I pulled it. But we'll just continue to go through these here. That wraps up the forwards in this bunch. Next, we move on to the defense. Mark Giordano, pretty solid card. He has a buzzing synergy, and then also for the superstar ability, he has a born leader, which I don't know how much that come into play, but it's only one ability point, so maybe worth trying out. Next, John Carlson, this is a solid card. 85 overall, Magician Synergy, and then also tape to tape. For a defenseman, that could be a solid, solid superstar ability, especially when breaking out of the defensive zone. Next up, we have Gladiator Synergy, and he also has it in reverse. Again, another pretty solid Synergy for defenseman. I went against a Crystal Tang that had the same one. Pretty tough to play against. Adam Bullquist looking pretty decent. Also, Sammy Vatanen looking okay. Again, these two cards as well. Kind of down the line. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Frederick Anderson, Protector. And then lastly, we have Isaac Poulter. Wouldn't be happy about that one either. But overall, Team of the Week cards are looking pretty good. I would be expecting to see these progress, especially as time goes on. Hope you guys like the series. We'll certainly continue to do this and push this out as time goes on into HUD. I'm sure it will just continue to expand. Again, I'm Man Advantage, and thank you for watching.